Hello wine fans, Mean Dean back with you for another vertical tasting. Those of you that watched the Gruner Veltliner vertical tasting, I mentioned it, I was going to do the same thing for the Riesling from Coma. Here it is. And I have an extra bottle. So I have a four year vertical tasting. We're missing a year, but I have 2014, 15, 16 that came in the pack with the Gruner. And I have a 2018 that's in my cellar. And I have a cat. Yeah, I'm actually using that chair. Whatever. Okay, so, as with the Gruner, I printed off the notes that I made when I originally tasted these. Interestingly enough, there's only two. I've tasted the 14 and the 15, I never tasted 16 or 18. So, those will be for, hey, and she's chewing, she's chewing them, on camera, on camera. down <sighs> calm anyway all right so let's see it 2014 100% Riesling from Kalmana oh now you want out oh sure <sighs> okay so that cat's been in this room since I did the video where she was on camera I think she's uh, expecting residuals or something all right, here we go. So, in 2014, I said, pretty white flowers highlight the nose, which also features stone fruit, grapefruit, and just a hint of spice at the end. Peach and nectarine on the palate, which gives way to a pleasing minerality and citrus flavors. So good, 91 points. Let's see. That would have been in probably mid-2016, I would have tasted that. So a good four years later. Here we are. Mmm. That is Riesling. I mean, I know it's Riesling, but it's Riesling. Oh, it's gotten a, it's developing those beautiful petrol flavors. And don't let, don't let, those of you that don't know a lot about Riesling, don't let the word petrol scare you. It doesn't literally smell like gas. Well, it kind of does, I guess, but it's lovely. Pineapple. Oh. Yeah, tropical fruit. Guava. <sighs> yeah, nice. So what did I say before? White flowers, stone fruit, grapefruit, and just a hint of spice. White grapefruit for sure. I don't think the stone fruit's hanging around much. No, it's gone really it's gone pretty tropical. White flowers, definitely. Very floral, very tropical. Petrol's developing. It's not intense yet, but it's coming. Hmm. What did I say on the peach and nectarine on the palate, which gives way to pleasing minerality and citrus flavors? Well, <sighs> it's gotten more tropical, but there's still mouth-watering acidity. Punch you in the face, it's Hindley, which you quite often get from Riesling, which is a good thing. Whew! Wow. And for those of you who may not really know acidity in wine, well, I don't have time to go through acidity in wine, it's, it's important. But uh, if you want to know if a wine's high in acid, just uh, take a sip. get a mouth-watering feeling in the sides of your mouth while everyone puts up actually there and that it almost almost ugh, it's like, here here's your reasoning um, really high acidic wines will really make your mouth pucker and this one is and it's also it's coming with lemon lemon curd lime so all those intense citrus flavors, grapefruit, absolutely lemon lime grapefruit, just a little bit of pineapple. Ah, 
alcohol medium plus, I think, although I wonder what, 13% medium. Still intense though. Hmm. So uh, other, there has been some change in, in the last four years. I don't like minerality, I don't think. Acidity's ramped up to 11. Citrus flavors have ramped up to 11. Mm. It's nice wine. It, I wouldn't say it's any better though. Like the Gruner. Different. And maybe maybe this is still too early. Maybe we should probably be holding this even longer. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, that's uh, 2014. Coming up next, we'll go to 15, 16, and then we'll do 18. We'll see how they compare. I'm very excited to taste 16 and 18 for the first time because I've never tasted them at all, as far as I can tell. Um, and I thought I had. Uh, if you saw the Gruner video, you know I had I had Comla Comla sent a card with uh, their advanced tasting notes. By advanced, I mean uh, it was not the same ones that they would they sent when they shipped the wine originally. It's, it was um, aged, or tasting notes on how the wine had aged, and uh, so through the Gruner I compared that to my old notes to what it was like now. I seem to have lost that card, it's quite possible the dumb cat ate it. Sadly, I'm only half joking. Maybe it'll turn up while I'm making this video, but for now, I'm just going with my own notes. Anyway, there you go, that's 2014. It's called Decora, by the way. It's a 100% reason, but this is called Decora. So if you see it in the stores, it says Decora. I think it probably says it's reason on the back. It does. Oh, so Decora is Latin for beautiful, okay? A pretty and flavorful reasoning from Margaret's Bench. A handcrafted wine of outstanding vibrancy, delicacy, elegance. Delicacy, elegance, and style. That's what it says in the back of the 2014. Let's see if it says the same thing on the 18. Yes. There you go. So, if you're in a liquor store and you come across Comona Decora, or the Unicus even, the Unicus doesn't say Gruner Veltliner on the, on the label either. So if you come across a, a Comona wine that's got a name, doesn't give the varietal, turn it around. The varietal will be back there. Or you just remember that Decor is Riesling, and Unicus is Gruner Veltliner. But it's a lot easier to read it in the stores, isn't it? All right, that's for 2014. On to 2015. All right, here we are, back with 2015. Comata, Decora, Riesling. <clears throat> okay, so I said, and this would have been mid-2017 probably, aromas of papaya, honeysuckle, wet slate. Touch of minerality on the palate, framed by papaya orchid fruit. Still young and will age gracefully at 89 to 91 points. At that point it was very young, obviously, when I tasted this. Maybe it was only 2016. Anyway. Doesn't have any of the petrol notes 2014 had for sure. I'm gonna be, gotta be honest with you, there's not a whole lot of anything. I'm waiting for something to show up here. Mm. I have a little bit of pineapple coming now. Papaya, guava, the tropical fruit's showing up. A little late to the party, but it's getting there. Mm. Wet stone, for sure. Very high minerality. And the tropical fruit flavors are really starting to come now. I took it, uh, I mean, I just poured it. Of course, it's only been open for five minutes, but. Oh, there's that acid again. Mouth puckering acid. Mm. I said papaya and orchid fruit. Red apple, yeah. Citrus is strong now too though. Lemon and lime. 
like uh, hmm. like a Meyer lemon, maybe a lime pith, a little bit of that bitterness. Medium plus to high acid, as you expect. Alcohol is probably 13 and a half, something like that. 13 and a half. Yeah, you get right it once in a while. Oh, well, you notice there's no cat now? Is it odd that I have to point that out, that I'm making a wine video and the fact that my cat is nodding here, helping me out, is uh, something I need to mention? I think it's weird, but you know, well, whatever. So at the time they gave us 89 to 91 points. To me, it's probably 90, 91. It's actually better than 2014 is now, I think. So pineapple's coming through now. Not real intense pineapple, more papaya, citrus, white grapefruit. Lime pith, for sure, like I said. Yeah. This would be one that might last in a few more years, but I think we may have opened the 2014 at the right time as, we, as I drank a little bit of it after opening it. I think this one has surpassed it. Now I can't wait to see what the 16 and 18 are like. Yeah. Nice. Right. All right. That's 14 and 15 for you. We'll be back with the 2016 coming up shortly. See you then. Okay, here we are to finish off the vertical. I've got the 2016 and 2018 open here. As I mentioned before, I've never actually tasted either one of these, or at least never made any notes on it, so I presume that means I never tasted them. This is 2016. Oh, pineapple, baby. Oh. Some pineapple in my Riesling. Mm. That's a lovely smelling wine. Stone fruit, a little bit of white peach. Gooseberry, I think. What's that trouble with gooseberry? Who ever smells gooseberry? But I think that's what it smells like. Mm. Virtually no um, tertiary characteristics, not, no diesel at all. Which for a you know, four year, four, four, half year old wine. Mm. Nice. Stone fruit, red apple, citrus. Well, the citrus head that I don't get on the nose all come through in the palate. White grapefruit. Lime. Not necessarily as much lemon as you might think. Lime pith. Acidity, medium plus to high as you expect. Probably high. Nice long finish, that's a good wine. That's my favorite one so far. Maybe that's hitting the sweet spot on age, eh? Let's see what the 18's like. So look, I think I already said this is, I think, pretty sure this is their current vintage. I don't know if they have the 19 is released. Yeah, maybe it was, I have to double check. Anyway, it's pretty new. Mm. Much less expressive nose, expressive, expressive nose on this one than on the 16. There's a hint of tropical fruit, more like more muted. Guava, maybe papaya. Apple. 
apple skin, I would think I would say. Totally different smell than the other one. Amazing. Mm. So that one definitely smells better than me. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Mouth watering acidity. Alcohol on both of these is 13 and a half. I'm just gonna read the backs. So yeah, that seems they have anything different on the back of these two. No, it's the same. Same thing as the other ones had. So this one a little more seems a little more unctuous. Very dry, of course, almost maybe to the point of austerity at this point. Well, it's good wine, but I think I, I'm going to say it's too young yet. Needs a couple more years. This one's drinking right in the sweet spot, I think. So maybe that's what we're figuring out. Four to five years is about right for these Riesling. 2016 is by far my favorite of the four right now. And this is still a nice wine. I mean, it, you pop this open right now, you're not going to be disappointed, but it's going to smooth out, I think, a little bit. Well, a couple rough edges in there, and it's a little bit, it's a little bit uh, overly acidic, not overly acidic, but the, the acidity uh, over uh, about, not, not well balanced, let's put it that way. I'm going to sit down in the living room and watch some TV, I think, this afternoon and drink these over the course of the afternoon and evening. I'll be interested to see if the 18 improves a lot after being open for an hour or so. But right now, I would say that's a little bit too young. I wish I had a 17 here to kind of bridge the gap. Yeah. This is what I like reason to taste like and smell like. So of our four year vertical, 16 is the winner for right now, for sure. Uh, mm. like, um, as a finish, uh, as you, your mouth waters at the finish, you get a lot of uh, green characteristics too, like a little bit unripe. Uh, unripe mango maybe. Mm, nice, nice, wow. All right, well, there we go. I hope you enjoyed the four-year vertical of Culmina um, Decora, the Riesling from the Okanagan Valley in BC. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to say that every time until people start taking me up on it. Down here somewhere. I don't know. There's a subscribe button down here somewhere. Um, and uh, by all means, comment. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Um, we are going to be right in the middle of Italy month right now. I realize this isn't Italy, but we're going to have some Italian wines this month. Um, and uh, I don't know what else I got planned. Lots of blind tastings which we really enjoy when the white's up for it. And uh, if there's something special you want to see, leave a comment, let me know. All right, everybody, have a great day. Don't forget to drink good wine. Talk to you next time.